Hi guys, welcome to another Tableau session. In this video, we will see how to build a basic report. So once you are done with your data source page, that means with the joins and even with the connection types, either it is a live or extract, even if you want to add your data source filter, that means whatever the manipulations you want to do at the data end, you can do at the data source page. Once you are done here, then this is when you will enter into this Tableau workspace. So this is called worksheet. The basic component in Tableau desktop. This is the place where you develop your reports, visualizations. Okay. Now here is the worksheet. This is the worksheet. If you want to open a new worksheet, the option is here. See, if you want to open a new worksheet, See, if you click on this, you will get sheet 2. If you observe this, it is more like your Excel sheets, right? Sheet 1, sheet 2. Even in Excel also, we will get in the same pattern. Now, if you want to open a new dashboard, here you can a new dashboard. Here you can open a new storyboard. So, the icons are here. Now, when you are entering into this page, if you observe on the leftmost part, Whatever the data is there that is placed under this data pane. That means the dimensions and measures are placed under this data pane. This is called the data pane. Here one more tab is there. So if you go into this, this is analytics tab. We will discuss about this in the later classes. As of now, so this is the data pane. So this is the data source that you connected to. Now, these are the tables and this is the data. See, you are able to see this, right? Now, so how to build a basic report? See, in any business scenario, the requirement comes like, I want to look at subcategory wise sales. So, this is the requirement. So what is this subcategory? So by mentioning that we, we are pretty sure that subcategory is the dimension. So I am searching for the subcategory. Why I am searching? Sometimes you, you will be unable to find these dimensions at a glance. See, when you are searching for it, you need to search like this. You need to go from the above to the below. Like this, you need to search for it. Instead, go into this search I search bar, just search for subcategory. Directly, you will get this subcategory. Now, what we need to do? How to build a report? So, you got this subcategory, right? Here is the place where Tableau is directly offering you to drop field here. If you observe here, drop field here. So, it is indicating us to drop the fields here. Let us see what happens when we drop fields here. See? When you dropping the fields into this workspace, Tableau is placing the dimension under rows. That means to build any views. So here you need to place your dimensions and measures into row shelf and column shelf. These are called shelves. Even if you observe here, pages is there, right? This is also called a shelf. Even filters are, this, this is also called filter shelf. And if you observe this, this is the most important part. This is called marks card. How it will be useful? We will see in this video only. Okay. Now, as of now, see, this subcategory is placed under row shelf. That's why whenever you are placing your dimension, you are getting these headers. Okay. You are getting the headers. That means whatever the subcategories are there, everything is listed here in the vertical manner. Now, when I am placing this subcategory under columns, what happens now? See, the data representation is coming in the horizontal manner. You can understand, you can understand this, right? Now, what we need? Subcategory wise sales we need. So, how to bring the sales? Here is the measure. So just bring the measure to the C. As and when I started taking out the measure, now you are getting instead of sales, 
you are getting sum of sales that means the data is getting aggregated the default aggregation what you are getting here is sum that means the data is aggregated to the dimension in the view in the here we are using subcategory that's why you are getting subcategory wise sales in another uh, in another report if you develop category wise sales sub category or else region wise sales then the data will be aggregated at that dimension level okay so now see here you are you got some basic report that means with this in with these bars you can understand that see this sub category is giving the highest sales as the length of the bar is more than so this is the highest length of the bar that means storage what is this phones is giving you the highest sales then you can compare the next is this copiers so with this representation you can un understand that which sub category is giving the highest sales which sub category is giving the least sales but it is uh, it is a bit uh, like uh, it is not properly ordered right so it is looking like that so how to sort this view if you sort the view either the representation will come in the ascending order or the descending order so here tableau is giving you the options to sort the view just you can sort the data either in ascending or descending as of now i am taking descending now with this bar which bar representing what value if you want to get that label here if you observe you are having this t what this t will gives you is just click on this t see the phones are giving this much sale value okay even see for labels you are not getting the value even for supplies also why you are not getting the value means this font size is a bit bigger than the space that is available so how to get all these bars values means just decrease at the font a bit uh, a bit lower to the present point how to decrease the font what we are modifying here first just have that idea that we are modifying the label where this label is existed here if you observe here in the marks card the labels are here right just go to this label here if you observe the font is 9 point just decrease that font to 8 now if you observe you are getting all the you are getting all the labels for the bars now if you observe here the space that tableau is offered us is that entire space but we are using only to some extent how to use this how to utilize this space to the maximum see here if you observe you can click if you click on this drop down you can change in these ways i am choosing this entire view see now the entire space is utilized for the visualization now see this is a basic report now i want to add some colors to the visualization how i can add the colors what fields i have used here i used sub category and i used sales now i am trying to bring sub category to the color what happens that means i am adding dimension to the color whenever you are adding any dimension to the color tableau will gives you the discrete coloring see you are getting different different colors okay now if you try to bring see i i brought this sub category let us just try to bring some of sales also to the color what happens if you color see now you are getting when you are adding any measure you are getting sequential coloring i am pressing control z that means i am going back to the place when where i added sub category to the color so when you add any dimension you are getting discrete coloring when you are adding any measure you are getting sequential coloring as of now we will stick to that point in the later section we will learn how to change the colors 
what is this sequential coloring what is this discrete coloring everything okay now here if you observe this is the basic report we have developed now instead of uh, subcategory in the rows i want subcategory to be in the columns that means instead of this vertical representation i need the horizontal representation of headers now what we need to do i we need to take it, take out the subcategory and sum of sales from the row shelf and column shelf again we need to bring it back so see i need to take out this subcategory and sales from the view again we need to build the view so that is one way i am pressing control z so that is one way or else here tableau is offering the one option to swap the rows to columns columns to rows now see when you swap see this horizontal bars are coming sorry these are vertical bars okay now here one more point here you are getting sum of sales as the the sum as the aggregation right if you want to change the aggregation to some other aggregation like average min max in the view you can right click here and see when you right click on the measure here if you observe measure of some you are you are able to see this right here you can change the aggregation so as of now i am changing the aggregation to average so in the view level if you want to change the aggregation then that option is available on the measure just right click and choose the required aggregation so this is how we build the basic view thank you guys